Hello everyone, this is Tara here, and I got these tentacles from Fright Props, which look great in my hallway, but they're not nearly long enough to go into my 13 foot high ceilings in the garage. So I extended them, and this tutorial is going to show you how to do that. The first challenge is to take these latex props that have no hook on them and put a hook in them. So get some hanger wire, some stiff hanger wire and kind of squirrel it up and hollow out as deep as you can one of the props and shove it in there. And this is, it gets a little tricky to kind of keep that coil, but you want to keep that coil intact because we want something that the great stuff is going to grip on. So push it all the way in there. Try to get your hand back out and keep pushing it in there and try to keep it in the center. Leave about, I don't know, five inches sticking out. And then I roped them to the uh, workbench here and shoved uh, that cavity in with great stuff. And do this in layers because the great stuff expands as you put this in there. And then leave a little bit at the top. Because it takes a long time to cure, like days, great stuff, wanted to make a mouth that the tentacle's gonna be coming out of the ceiling. So carve out some foam into kind of a scary shape and glue on some teeth, kind of keeping them on the outside edges because in the next step, we're going to be making a, a canopy. But paint them, and this one is painted in fluorescent using that cool pattern, which gives it a great bio look, and this is how it looked. Alrighty, the great stuff is cured, so we're gonna cut off a little top of it so it has a nice flat center, flat top there. And then look at it and see where the wire ended up being. And you're going to make a loop that will, its center will be in the center. So I'm curling it around here so it's dead center or else your tentacle will kind of hang off kind of crooked. And then to extend it, get some PVC pipe, cut the length that you need the extension, and drill a hole in each end and then snake some more of that hanger wire through there and loop it around and get a split ring and stick that on there and that is for the top. So you can hook that on any hook on your ceiling. So that's the top and for the bottom where it meets the tentacle, do the same thing with the hanger wire and loop it around. Now we're gonna make a fabric canopy, kinda like a shower curtain. So this is plumber's metal, metal plumber's tape, and uh, I'm using a bunch of little twist ties here, but get it where it's all, you know, put it through the holes and tie it in, and then take string, and it's important to get it in the dead center on each side, and when you hang it up, it should hold it up nice and steady, so zip tie that in place. From this point forward, felt like I was fitting a bride's dress, but wrap some landscape fabric around the top of the canopy. And uh, I'm kind of zip tying this in place too. I use scissors to kind of cut out two holes and use a zip tie. But taper that fabric up so it gradually gets bigger and meets the size of the canopy. Cut the bottom out so it kind of looks like it's organic. And uh, then you're going to get some black creepy cloth and we'll show that in a second, but we're gonna wrap that around and then cut off the excess and then cut that into strips. You're gonna do the same thing now with a layer of gray creepy cloth. And then what you do with the leftover fabric is cut those into strips, and I tied it off at the top here, and then hang that off of the tentacle top there. Burlap strips are a little bit different. You're gonna tie it off at the top again, but make sure you get the very edges because we're gonna do something different here. Cut off the bottom so you don't have any kind of thing holding it up and then just pull out all the horizontal strips and you're just gonna end up with these cool looking stringy things. This is my favorite greenery to use for all kinds of props. I think it's Spanish moss, but I get it at Hobby Lobby and you can pull it apart and I discovered that you can make long strings of it if you find where the things join up. So you can make nice long strings of it and we're gonna hang that off of the prop too. 
for two of the props, had it uh, mounted on a mirror ball motor. Got that from Fright Props too. But it looks great. Now all we gotta do is paint it fluorescent. And this is how it looked down in the workshop. Nice and scary. There's a total of five of these tentacles in the haunt. Two of them are on mirror ball motors. And one of them is tied to a string. In fact, let me show you how it looks in the haunt. One second. Okay, so here we are in the haunt, and you see the two moving. Those are on the mirror ball motors. One that's not moving, I have tied to a string that I'm holding on the other side of the wall. So when the poor little kids go through, they're thinking that one that's not moving is safe. But <laughs> as soon as they go by and, and they swing around it, I whack them with it. <laughs> it scared them great. Um, so anyway, I'll let you wander around a few more seconds in the haunt. But thanks again so much for watching. Take care.